temporary uh, I'm in Harvard University as a visiting scholar. And uh, my specialty is designing or architecture. So not so uh, information design or coding. So now I will introduce our work of, uh, for example, for Hiroshima archive. Uh, this archive's tema is Hiroshima atomic bomb. Or so many uh, disasters in the world are our target. So at first, so search by Google, so you can find so many, many photographs about so atomic bomb dropping. So 1945, uh, United States uh, dropped on Hiroshima, uh, they are atomic bomb. And three days after, so they dropped to Nagasaki. So, and over uh, 300,000 people died uh, by atomic bomb. And now, last year is so 70th anniversary. This year is the 71, 71st anniversary. So many, many TV programs pick up so Hiroshima and Nagasaki in last year. And uh, so many, many TV programs said, so in the near future, atomic bomb survivors will die. So it means so we cannot hear their voice or their message in the future. So our mission is preserving their message to the future and keeping a peace by ourselves. So for example, in Hiroshima, a city government have good database of atomic bomb historical materials. So we can search many, many photos or text or pictures, books, and so on. But so, please image, what's the keyword do you input in search field? So very difficult to decide. So for example, fire or a radiation or a heat or and so on. But these words are very typical. Not so uh, good for deep learning for Hiroshima atomic bomb history. And this database interface is so not friendly. I think we can, at first, we must choose categories or two keywords. We cannot know whole volumes of all materials in Hiroshima Peace Memorial Museum. So, in five years ago, we made this, so Hiroshima archive. I will show my demonstration at first. By using Cesium 3D virtual globe will appear when you access. And many, many materials plotted on this surface. You can see many, many faces. These are first image of atomic bomb survivors. And a black and white image, because uh, they are young time portfolio. Now they are so elder people, uh, but 70 years ago, they are girl or boy. So for example, you can see many, many girls face image at the same, same area. Why? So please look around. You can read girls high school. So 70 years ago, one girls high school named Hiroshima Jogakuin High School located in this area. And this map was made by United States Army in 1945. So surprisingly, so they made a detailed map before dropping atomic bomb. So the cesium is uh, very good for overlaying. A 
the ones fade out 9045 map, we can browse current satellite view of Hiroshima. You know, now Hiroshima is a very big city. And 70 years ago, one girl high school located. And now we can see big building on the same field. What is this? So we can overlay an uh, open street map. Sorry for this map uh, described in only Japanese. So this is uh, Hiroshima Joga Queen Junior High School. So surprisingly, 70 years, same school located in 70 years ago, and same school locates in same field in Hiroshima. So I think if you are in Hiroshima, you can walk current street or and so on, and you can image 70 years ago. So many, many girls felt fear or so very shocked experience by atomic bomb. So and the next function is the photographic photo uh, photograph overlay. So clicking photo icon and zooming into one point and a photograph will show up. So this photograph was overlaid for uh, three-dimensional terrain. So next example. So this is easy to understand. This photograph was taken in 70 years ago. So, and background, pretty background. So current satellite image. This photograph is a window, time travel window, to 70 years ago. So we can feel the reality of uh, past materials by overlapping 3D virtual globe. Hopefully, so these photographs are uh, displayed in museum, or we can see books, photo books, and so on. Uh, but we cannot feel reality of destruction in 70 years ago. But by overlaying to 3D virtual globe, so we can feel the reality of these pictures. And so first version of Google Earth was released in five years ago. So looks like same. But so please see right downside. <laughs> An enterprise name uh, was shown. So because uh, five years ago, so we used Google Earth API uh, to making Hiroshima archive. So over uh, 300,000 page views uh, from five years ago. But in two years ago, uh, very bad news. You already know. So Google's announcing uh, duplication of the Google Earth API. Mm, so surprisingly. So we didn't know. And so uh, we met a very hard wall uh, because our main tema is so representative realities of past materials. 3D virtual earth is necessary. But so we cannot use Google Earth API in the future. So what can I do? Very bad news. But so very good news uh, from Cesium team. So migrating from us to Cesium. Wow. <laughs> so they are safer uh, for us. And so more 
uh, Cesium has a special feature, so animation. So I will show next example. Many, many battlefield photograph. And they are the photographs of Battle of Okinawa. So uh, 1945, so almost June, and 200,000 uh, Okinawa citizens died uh, by Battle of Okinawa. So, and uh, our next target is so representing the Battle of Okinawa reality by Seiju. So, so uh, this is the uh, Battle of Okinawa digital archive. This is Okinawa Island. Did you go to this island ever? So very beautiful uh, tropical island. So it looks like so same as Hiroshima Archive, but so face images are moving. Because so Hiroshima Archive's tema is a moment of explosion of atomic bomb. But Okinawa, the Battle of Okinawa, Time span is three months. Please look uh, bottom side of interface. From left to right. And sorry, uh, description is only in Japanese, but the right bottom side is the date. So 1945, March 3 is the start. And go to Same year, uh, June 28 is finished. So many, 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 many citizens moved to south end of Okinawa Island. Because United States Army uh, went to the middle point of this island. So people escaped from United States Army. So since, so we can see they are movement, escaping route by the data. And especially, so for making this digital archive empowered by local newspaper, Okinawa Times is local news media in Okinawa. So they collected many, many testimonies, accounts from uh, war survivors. And I received their data and making visualization by Seju. So, and, and more. Face images are uh, survivors. But, so we can see one more data. White small icon and red small icon. So many, many. So these are war dead position. So many, many people died in all of Okinawa Island, so surface. So, and white is man, and red is woman. So surprisingly, southern side are many, many men, men dead, and uh, North side is so many, many women died. So because I think, so Japanese army uh, gathered so ordinary people to their, uh, their battle. And many, many uh, men uh, went to southern, southern half of this island and uh, they died by so machine guns or tanks or and so on. So animation function is very powerful because so we can feel uh, so there are messages from this interface. You saw uh, Hiroshima archive is very static. because this archive's tema is one moment. So 
the atomic bomb explosion. But I want to represent it. So survivor's emotion, survivor's movement. So stage removes, so animation function empowered me. So I think I can make very good interface for uh, expression, their movement. And next tema is, so five years ago, so my country met very heavy disaster. So over 10 meter, 10 meter tsunami and uh, heavy earthquake occurred in Japan. And I also used animation function to represent so tsunami dead movement in last 30 minutes. Because so when earthquake occurred, tsunami will arrive after 30 minutes or so. So this is uh, Rikuzen Takata city in Iwate prefecture, northern Japan. So many, many points are moving. Blue are men and red are women. So all of them are tsunami dead movement dead. Left side of time slider is tsunami occur time. And the right side of the time slider is, so, uh, sorry, left side is earthquake occur time, and the right side is tsunami arrival time. So they step to same place from home or uh, their job place or their company. All of them step to one place. Where is this? So, sorry, a very small font I read. So, during earthquake, she was in workplace. And during tsunami, she was in civic gymnasium. The white building is civic gymnasium. Because government set civic gymnasium as public evacuation place. So all of them believed we are safe when we will go civic gymnasium. Uh, but so tsunami was extraordinarily high. So all of them uh, died by tsunami. So we can feel so strong emotion of them, I think. They want, wanted to uh, save themselves, uh, but they couldn't. And we can see all of their movement by stage. And uh, overlaying function is very powerful. Now we are seeing after tsunami, so nothing in the ground. But so 40 years ago, very good village. So many, many houses, so uh, uh, many, many, so plant and so on. But once tsunami, tsunami occur, occurs, everything was banished by tsunami. So and now I'm contacting to uh, Digital Globe company. So I want to use before one day of tsunami. This uh, aerial photo is 40 years ago because Japanese government had only 40 years ago aerial photo. But I think so digital global company has so one day before of tsunami. So we can overlay one day before and one day after tsunami and compare it. It is very useful for uh, learn the precious point of evacuation. So I think we don't 
believe. We must not believe uh, public evacuation place. So we must escape more higher ground when tsunami, tsunami occurs. Okay. So I told you uh, mainly uh, technology side of our project. The next I will describe so making community by digital archive. So please see the TV program. So it is a special TV program by a Japanese public broadcasting center in last year. So I want to introduce Hiroshima Archive chief member. This is chief member list. So production committee representative is me, uh, but we can see many, many student volunteers. Over uh, 50 students joined to our project. What did they do? So the TV programs will show uh, what they did, do, what they did. So she is a leader of Hiroshima Archive volunteer team in uh, uh, Hiroshima Jogakuin High School. And so surprisingly, they interviewed atomic survivors day by day. So for example, So they did so many, many interviews to atomic survivors uh, by themselves. So and uh, editing, editing their video and uh, uploading to YouTube. And also they made KML file by Google Earth for plotting so face images to uh, virtual 3D place, virtual 3D space. And I received KML file and convert into CZML file and implement to Hiroshima archive. This is workflow. So main part of collecting testimony or collecting interviews, collecting accounts, uh, depend on their work. And last year, they made a presentation in United Nations. So Hiroshima Archive. Yes, so very precious work, I think. So, and I would like to, yes, I would like to emphasize peace learning, peace learning, traditional style is like this. Ah, sorry. <laughs> so, by my talking, so, as a front of students, atomic bomb survivor have a mic and talking their story. 
and the students only hearing here. Not interactive. But our pro in our project, collecting testimonies, accounts, materials by students. And uh, I made an archive and so it is very impression photo, impressive photo. Old woman is the uh, atomic bomb survivor. And uh, many, many students gathered in the front of one same PC. They are watching Hiroshima archive and uh, same, same structure, Nagasaki archive. And they are learning from digital archive with together atomic bomb survivors and students are around same table. It is very important point. So, and the next photo, they are smiling. Peace learning is not so fun in past years because so very sad story or heavy message and so on. But in our workshop, they are smiling. It is very important because so not so many people want to learn past story because it is not so fun. But digital archive with 3D virtual space is attractive for students or children or young people. This is a starting point for learning past stories, entertainment. And also, they can join production team of this digital archive. I think, so this is new model of learning uh, past history or past disaster. In this year, September, we will hold a workshop with the Hiroshima Archive in Boston and New York. So I will inform our plan in near future. Please join us in this workshop. So, and my last message is, so I already prepared. So Hiroshima Archive is an open source project to society. Everyone can join, and uh, everyone can use, and uh, everyone can update. So like Cesium, not enterprise software. So for example, Google Earth. And we greatly appreciate that. And thanks to Cesium team and Force4G community. So our project is progressing in a good direction by your power. Thank you very much. Yes, height is so uh, not so meaningful, but so higher face images uh, contains video, and the lower are uh, uh, text only, and so color colored icon and uh, black and white icon are same. So colors are video accounts, and the text uh, black and white icon. Yes. The uh, movement of people. So uh, without so GPS information, uh, because you yeah, know, so because in this is countryside of Japan, uh, so not so many people have a smartphone and so on. So 
we make a collaboration with local newspaper. So, and the local newspaper, Iwate Nippo newspaper, so made uh, many, many interviews to their families or their friends. So, uh, when uh, Asuke occurred, so your father's location is question. And we can find their body uh, after tsunami uh, in this point. So, line is straight. Uh, because so uh, we cannot identify their route. So start point and end point are correct. Thank you very much for your question. Okay. Ah, uh, yes, very good, I think. <laughs> so in Japan, so uh, please, Kenya, stand up. So uh, he is my student. <laughs> so uh, in Japan, so many, many so university students uh, joined our project for develop, developing. So, but I want to spread our uh, developing uh, community uh, to United States. Uh, because so Hiroshima, so I'm so sad. I tell uh, Hiroshima story to uh, United States students. So almost they didn't know uh, when or uh, so how many people died by atomic bomb. Mm. Uh, but so they can learn very easily and with a lot of fun. Not so serious. So it is very important for learning history. So I want to spread our community to United States. Thank you for your suggestion. Okay, finish? So thank you very much. <laughs>